This is a quick supplemental video uh, to be used with, for linear regression and residual plots using the older TI-83 or TI-83 plus graphing calculator. Um, you can watch the TI-84 video to get uh, to get everything you need to do the linear regression and the residual plot. However, you will notice that in the TI-84 you get a menu to do linear regression and with this older calculator you do not. Um, also, some of you with the TI-84 may end up getting, uh, may not have that fancy menu. So this will help you guys. So again, uh, on your TI-83 hopefully you've already created new lists year into it year and tuition uh, and you fill them with data and remember be careful that uh, when you uh, when you put the data into these lists that, that that they match that they have the same number of X values and the same number of Y values okay with that being the case let's go and try to do some linear regression so uh, first we'll go to second mode second quit and then we'll go to st uh, oh oh let's uh, well now that we got the data in there let's uh, let's look no 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 um, okay here we go sorry folks just have to get my thoughts together um, we're gonna go look at linear regression uh, and here we go we go stat and then we go to calc and then you can either go down to linreg ax plus b or you can go to, to all the way down to linreg uh, a plus bx either way is fine i'm going to go ahead and hit enter here um, now here's the part that's different on the ti-83 from the ti-84 you get no menu so what we're going to do is since we have da x data in year we're going to go uh, second stat and that'll get us a list of all the lists and we're going to go down and find year and there it is so we'll go ahead and hit enter uh, and then we'll go ahead and hit comma and then second stat to get a list of lists and then we'll go and find to it or tuition and that'll give us the the list of y values year is the list of x values to it is the list of y values and then we'll hit comma and then what we want to do is is put where we want to store the linear equation the line of best fit for this data and that's where we'll go and we'll do vars and then we'll do y vars and then hit enter for function and then we'll choose y1 we'll hit enter and so now with this we'll go ahead and create a linear equation and it'll be stored under y equals so let's go ahead and hit enter uh, one bummer is is that I did not turn diagnostic on for this calculator so I don't see the R correlation value I'll show you how to do that in this video also just to be safe but let's go ahead and take a look at our y equal I'm gonna go second mode or second quit if I can um, is it gonna let me oh I guess I gotta hit enter again and then second quit oh it's not gonna let me oh there we go okay so I go to y equals here's my linear equation and if I go to graph my data um, I should now see if I zoom and then do zoom stat uh, number nine um, I should see my scatter plot and line of best fit oh I forgot to turn my plots on so anyways I told you I didn't want to go much further in this video most of this stuff that not from this point on is already shown in the other video um, I just wanted to show you how to get the year and the to it and the y1 uh, and how to give the command using the TI-83 graphing calculator um, but real quick I'll go ahead and turn the plot on just to make sure that this works uh, and uh, we'll hit enter and then enter again so we've got uh, we've got a scatter plot we will go down and we'll get again second list let's go ahead and get a uh, year for the X list we'll go down and we'll get second list and we'll get to it for the Y list and then we'll go ahead now we can go ahead and graph and we should see the scatter plot if we do a zoom 9 there it is and there's our y equals there's our line of best fit yay now um, the way to do the residual plot is covered in the other video so I'm not gonna say anything more just wanted to make sure you folks with the TI 83 or 83 plus had a fighting chance good luck